In this video, we are going to learn about a powerful Photoshop technique to cut out trees. To create a very precise selection around these trees and to remove our background, we will learn about this powerful technique. So without wasting any kind of time, let's get started. Welcome back everyone. My name is Dhanan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and uh, let's start our work. This is the image which is uh, simply you can see that there is tree and some blue sky and grass. So what we need to do is we will need to remove this bl blue sky. What is the fastest way and powerful way to remove this sky? I know that you will use a lot of tools like uh, selection tools. Um, this quick selection tool you can use pen tool but not you can not use these tools because it's a lot of detail inside this you cannot remove every single um, kind of uh, you can see background from this uh, tree it will t uh, take a lot of time to remove this so what is the fastest way to remove this so there are channels as you know if you don't know let me just try to tell you about what are channel channels contains different kind of color details like red contains the red color details green channel contains the green channel details blue layer contains the blue channel details it means that the blue pixels will be selected when you select blue channel but what we need to do is we will select the channel which have the most saturation and contrast and we can say that uh, which uh, contains most of the details like less color combinations and more detail so which one will be blue it contains most of the details like the blue is white sky and the black is this other color so in this uh, uh, detail we will select this sky what we'll do is we'll simply just go to select this blue uh, channel layer we'll press ctrl l to call up our levels now what we'll do is without uh, if you don't want to uh, create any mess just create a new layer and uh, we press ctrl l and now what we'll do is we'll simply just uh, click and drag this black color to the uh, right side to get more black okay then this white color to get more white as you can see that we have only two colors at this time uh, let me just uh, make it a little lower so we could get more details uh, i think it's nice here maybe 75 76 is nice okay so this is the setting press okay now as you can see that there are a lot of things here what we'll do is we'll press ctrl l again to see if we can do more i think it's enough so hit okay that's all right now what we'll, we'll do is we'll simply call out our brush tool by pressing b from our keyboard size it up and uh, we'll choose a hard brush uh, before we do that let me just uh, show you that this selection is very straight uh, as you can see let me just zoom it out as you can see, this selection is very straight so what we'll do is we'll create our selection by selection tool which is a rectangle marker tool we'll create a selection around this like this and we'll fill it with black color okay so it is it is filled with black color now what we'll do is we will use our brush tool and uh, as you can see the settings are hardness is 100% and size is 200 we'll uh, use our foreground color as black and now we'll fill this minor detail now what we'll do is we'll press ctrl and click on this um, layer as you know it will create selection around this now we'll go to layers and uh, we'll create a copy of this nice and as you can see that it is a selection now we'll press ctrl shift and i to invert this selection and we will create a layer mask on it now that's the magic as you can see that the blue color is completely gone this is the complete selection you don't have to mess with every eraser tool and kind of thing you just need to go to straight in these settings now uh, one more thing you can add inside this is if you want to check the blue thing behind this uh, layer so we'll create a new layer fill it with 50% gray layer and hit ok as you can see it's completely gone 
i hope this technique will help you a lot there is one more technique we will which we will we'll discuss in next tutorial because that is pretty much little long detail so i don't want to uh, mix things up so i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to share and subscribe my channel and uh, now i will try to upload videos on daily basis so we'll meet in our next video take care be happy and be creative